Hello students, this is Esther. She's a master gardener from the University of Maryland. And she's gonna show us and demonstrate to us how to go about planting with the materials you got. Hello West Esther, welcome to Fairman Heights. Hello, how are you? And hello students. You're going to be on an adventure and we hope that you enjoy this lesson. First off, when you came to Fairmont Heights to pick up your uh, material, you got a large grow bag and a small grow bag. You also received a white envelope that has five seeds in them, seed packets in them, and five sticks. You are going to label the seeds with the sticks. So if you put in certain amounts of um, seeds, you want to label that seed. And I think they got, what, three of each? Yeah, maybe we could ch check that bag and see what seeds inside that bag. Yeah. Some of you may have different seeds than what we have here. But you should have... All you should have received some lettuce seeds and some carrot seeds and some other seeds like bean seeds and two other types of seeds. So, they should look like, you should receive this, and you should have five of these, the sticks. And each stick is for each seed package. You receive also, Three bags and two bags. Right, so they got two three gallon bags of grow and two six gallon bags. So two of the big ones and two of the small ones. Two of the three gallon bags and two of the six gallon bags. Yes. So that's four bags, which means that you have five seed packets. You may want to split one of those. Um, and, and do a half of one side and half of another. So this is what we're going to do. You want to take your large bag, or you can take your small bag. Let's work with the large bag first. And you're going to do a double fold. That is, you're going to open it up to so make sure Then you're going to fold it over twice. There's no scientific method to this. Just fold it over twice. So two folds, right? So that's two folds. Once you get two folds, you want to fill you want to go to your potty mix, either one that you got. You got two bags of potty mix. Go to your potty mix. Fill it about three quarters of the way with potty mix. So you, you want you want, want to fill it yeah. pretty much like this. And if you have any large chunks, cut, cut them down using your hands. And you can um, use gloves like these if you don't want to touch the soil. But I can tell you, potty mix is not soil. So you're not going to get any germs in it or anything. So you want to fill it with potty mix. Then, you want to come over and you don't want to fill it to the top because if you fill it to the top you won't be able to water without the water spilling some of the soil over. Then once you 
he's um feeling you want to take your hand make sure that you mix it that is not crumpy and you're going to put compost all in there take out oh, what? any ready mm -hmm. so you're going to make sure you take compost and this is where you probably need your gloves more than anything it's for the compost but you don't need to you gotta just keep putting it until you cover the um soil darling with compost so it's one third potting soil two third sorry two third potting soil one third compost compost right right you're not going to fill it to the top. Remember I said, if you fill it to the top, then you won't have room, the water will spill out over it. So once you fill it with compost, you want to mix all this in. And you can do it with a trowel like what I have, or the simplest way is just to get in there and mix it up with your hand. So students, it's two-third potting soil, one-third compost. You put two-third of, um, of the potting soil first, and then you add the additional one-third of the bag with compost, and then you mix it, uh, preferably with your hands, so you get a consistent mixture. Make sure you leave about... All I say about an inch at the top and smooth everything down. Get okay. out any sticks you see in there and any um, rough stuff. Once you smooth it down, now you're ready to plant. <coughs> Smooth it down and you have like an inch <laughs> from the top. Of this. You see, they're real tiny. Tiny seeds like this, you don't bury them. You put them on top and lightly cover them with soil. So you would sprinkle 
them right on top. You might want to get it. You take them. I do the pinch method and just sprinkle them on top. And I'm putting this on the side with the lettuce. And you would do that with all the seeds in here. And make sure you get good coverage. And you'll do the same, and then what you do is you're going to lightly just cover them. Very lightly. This is just for the lettuce and the spinach. And then you'll do the other side with the spinach. So you have lettuce here and spinach over here. You may want to put a little cardboard down the side or you can just leave it like that. That's for now the leaf vegetables like lettuce and spinach. Cabbage you probably wouldn't be able to put in one, what is it, six gallon bag, one lettuce seed, one cabbage seed, I should say. Because cabbage is going to get a big head. You might be able to get away with two seeds. how tiny these seeds are. Who can imagine that one tiny seed will grow a big head of lettuce, of cabbage. So this is cabbage. So you want to take a stick and you're going to mark on it and then you're going to put it in this and then you might want to sprinkle cabbage seeds all over now when these seeds start to germinate and germinate means when you start seeing green growth you may then we need to wait about a week and then split them and put them in another pot because they're going to crowd out. But you can sprinkle them all over. Because I said the tinier the seed, the less you will need to put soil on it, just lightly cover them. So ask her a question. How, okay. how long does a cabbage have to grow before they transplant them? Before what? Before they transplant the cabbage. I would say give it about three weeks. Okay. So they could transplant it in, in another grow bag or somewhere in the yard, right? Yeah, they can plant it in the yard and or in another pot. Okay. Or another grow bag. Okay. Now, we're going to look at the beans. Notice how large these bean seeds are. They are 10 times larger than the lettuce, the cabbage, 
and the spinach seeds. You're going to plant them. You're going to take your index finger and go to the first digit. And you're going to put it down to the first digit. And then you're going to put a bean there. And then you cover it. And you're going to do this first digit, put it in there, and cover it. And that would be your bean. And don't forget to use your stick. So they can use a different grow bag for the bean because four, four they right. were given four grow bags. I would say do another grow bag for the bean. Yes. Keep the bean separate. So if you have four bags in all, mm -hmm. I would do one bag for the bean, mm -hmm. one bag for carrots and the rest for the greens and, ca and um, cabbage and spinach and Swiss chard that you may have. How do we plant the carrots? Huh? The carrots, how do we plant them? Carrots have very tiny seeds. So you don't want to plant them too high, too deep. Oh, let me so Esther is going to show us how to plant the carrots and the carrots are this small or huge Esther look how tiny the carrot seeds are you're not going to smother them when you plant them you're going to do them the same as you did the lettuce seed and the spinach seed, but you're going to plant them in a different bed. And how should it be spaced out? Um, right mm -hmm. now, you want to pick them up with your fingers. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do a demonstration in the same bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pick them up with your fingers and just twist your thumb with your index finger and your thumb and just twist them and space them out and you will do that you don't have to use all the seeds in the packet so that means you can use half the seeds and if something happens and it fails then you have the other half to use so i would say use half the seeds in each of the packets Okay, so one grow back especially for carrots. Mm -hmm. And um, should we, should, is there a need to transplant them? Or what's the, how do we leave them to grow just like that? You do just like that, and you just lightly place soil over them. Mm -hmm. Remember, carrots is a root vegetable. So you're gonna see only the green on top, but the, uh, part you want to eat will be underground and the sheets that your teacher will provide you will tell you when is the best time to harvest them um and don't forget your stick you want to put carrot on your stick and put that in there so you know where it is. You don't have to put the packets in there because that's going to get wet, but you definitely need to put the stick in there and use ink or permanent ink when you write on the stick so that it won't come off when it, when it gets wet. How do you advise the students to how to when to water the, the the grow bags, the plants? How to what? When to water the plants? I would water the plant. I would keep the soil moist. 
What I would do is get a spray bottle mm -hmm. and spritz the top of it till it's wet. It's all is wet. And I would check it every day. Do not let the seed dry out. A dry seed after you plant it and wet it is a dead seed. So let it um, spritz it every day. Mm -hmm. Especially the um, lettuce and spinach and those seeds that are close to the top. So it, the beans in a separate pot, you want to water them. I would, I would say you could water them the regular way using a glass of water or something of that nature. Okay, but the, the leafy veg you spray. The leafy one. I would not, I would spray them because you don't want the seeds to blow away. Okay. With the water because they're sitting basically on top. So basically spray them down. Okay. And if there is no spray, maybe can you take the water with your hand and just sprinkle it at the top? You can take water with your hand and sprinkle it on top as long as you get the soil mm -hmm. evenly moist, that's fine. You can, um, you don't have a spray bottle, put, um, get one of those bottles that you drink with, whether you have soda or anything, put three holes in that plastic cap, fill it with water, and sprinkle it on it that way. That's another way. That's a good way to recycle the water bottle. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea with the, um, the water bottle. You bore holes on the top, right? You put three holes in the top of the cap and then you can do that with a nail and a hammer or something that will go through the plastic um, and water fill the water bottle up and then you can sprinkle that over it as well right so there are two ways of watering the plants if you don't have a sprayer but even with those empty um those dishwashing spray things that they use can be used as well right. If you don't have a spray bottle, use the uh, water bottle and put the holes in the cap and you're good to go. Okay. So I think we covered the basics there, Esther. Um, so students, if you have any questions and concerns about your um, project, email me and um, we'll ask Esther um, the questions. Yeah. You think any... Um, Yes. If you like, and the students come on, and then we can ask. I can answer the questions and um, tell them what they're doing, and, oh. and you can actually see the project too. Okay. So thank you, Esther, for taking the time out for your busy schedule. I know you're a very busy person, one of the top master gardener in Prince George's County, and you have spared us um, your time and your knowledge to educate the students and staff at Fairmont Heights how to plant and I know you're going to continue to support us so thank you for coming over. You're welcome. Thank you.